Welcome back to Subways I.O. Today, we're diving into the world of CBTC. That's communications-based train control. This modern technology is transforming how subways operate, and we're here to break it down for you. Let's start with the quadruple A's of CBTC. First up is AWS, or Auxiliary Wayside System. Think of this as the traffic signal system for CBTC trains. It controls the tracks and makes sure trains stay on the right path. You might notice flashing green signals when the AWS is active. Next up, ATS or Automatic Train Supervision. This is like the control tower for the entire CBTC system. It keeps track of all the trains, makes sure they're running on time, and can even control the switches and signals remotely. Then we have ATP or Automatic Train Protection. Safety first. ATP is always monitoring for potential hazards. If something goes wrong, it can automatically slow down or stop the train to prevent accidents. An extension of ATP is ATPM or Automatic Train Protection, manual. This allows train operators to drive manually, but with the ATP as a backup. If the operator makes a mistake, the ATP steps in to keep things safe. And last but not least, ATO, or Automatic Train Operation, is the most advanced feature of CBTC. This allows trains to run completely automatically, from start to stop, from station to station, without any input from the operator. All of these systems work together seamlessly, and it all starts when the operator presses that start button on their console. For a deeper dive into CBTC and how it's being used in the New York City subway, stay tuned for more CBTC basics here on IG and check out our up and coming full length video on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the world of transportation technology. I'm Ashley, and until next time, thanks for watching.